This is Paul. Yes. <laughs> Just looking at this Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, the 15 U.S. Code, yes, I talked to you about that fraud, yes, yes, yes. Why don't you give me all those law schools again, pooch? Now, I just wanted to know, because the John Marshall has to do this, the John Marshall Law School Board of Trustees, members of the John Marshall Law School Foundation Board of Trustees, we looked at the trustees of the United States government and the qualifications to be a trustee. Yes. Why don't you give me every foundation of every law school and their actual investments for the last 20 years? Yes. And then I'd like to know who the trustees are. Oh. Now, uh, these uh, law school foundations, yes, they probably have a lot of assets in them. Maybe Harvard has, oh, $50 billion. Yes. You're always trying to attract the best educated students. Yes. <laughs> Ivy League. Boo! It's Paul. I know these foundations are important to you, considering the number of individuals that become successful after going to a university. <laughs> All those attorneys that thought they would practice law in the United States of America. But I'm thinking their knowledge of the extension of the full faith and credit of the actual constitution of this nation violates their support of their state constitutions and the United States Constitution. Yes. So when you go through the dismal performance of the bar exam, yes, give me the foundations and all the endowments of those that have contributed for the support of the actual ABA accredited schools. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to take their foundations because here's the problem, Mike. Let's say you had all combined value, two to three hundred billion dollars in assets. Pooch. And you know that the, the United States has been extending credit to the United Nations that they don't have the right to have. Yeah. Because a local law enforcement won't enforce the actual requirements of the law that when you're married from the United Nations, the dissolution of marriage has to dissolve the actual marriage certificate itself. And you have all these students in university that are studying the law. Now, I know, you've got approximately $300 billion in foundation assets that you, you can use to help them offset the cost of higher education. <laughs> but I thought I'd take that money for myself. <laughs> Now, you say I can't, but I would say we've had these arguments before about what I can legally do and not do. Yes. You said as Harvard or Yale or any of these law schools that has knowledge of this crime of violating the rights of American citizens, power to the people, that I couldn't sue you for the actual foundation. Fuck it up. Fuck it up.